So what we're going to do is create the universe out of nothing. Mathematicians use something that is very close to nothing, and that is called an empty set. Let's see what that is. A set is just a collection of objects. For example, the words in a book or the people in a room. Let's say, however, that your room is empty. There's nobody there. What you then get is an empty set. The set of all positive numbers that are less than minus one, for example. Now, once you have this empty set, you basically have nothing. And the ancient Indians figured out how to look at this nothing, at this void, and equate it to be zero. And we, mathematicians, do the same thing hundreds of years later, where we equate the empty set to be zero. Now, once you have the empty set, you can then create a set that contains that empty set. Now, this new set actually is no longer empty because it has this one number in it, the number zero. So what you do is you call this number the number one. Now, once you have the number one, then you can create a new set containing both zero and one, and you can call that the number two. And you can keep doing this. For each number, you can create its successor in this way. And what happens then is that as you keep doing this, it's almost like a chain reaction that's been lit. The fuse has been lit and suddenly there's an explosion and you get the entire set of counting numbers. And this is what I like to call the big bang of numbers. Once you have all the numbers, you can then create more numbers. And with the numbers, you can create geometry, algebra, and physics, and just about everything else. And that is how you create the universe out of nothing.